Hey guys, welcome to the last part of our logo animation. So, let's see. We have our light flare, water splash, raindrops, and everything. And now what we want to do is we want to add our logo to it. And we want our logo to appear out of the, or to evolve out of the water splash and the light ball. So for that, um, I have my logo right here and I'll, I just drop it right above my other layers. And I go to like uh, five seconds and I decrease my um, scale because I want my logo to be a little smaller. And then I go back to like four seconds and now I decrease it again to like half of the size. Okay. Um, now the same goes with the opacity. Hit uh, T to bring up the opacity. Uh, keyframe it, and then go back to four seconds and and put the opacity to zero. So um, just like this. Right. Looking okay. Mm -hmm. Now go to your effects and type in ripple. Uh, take that effect and just drop it on your logo. Um, now let's go to like five seconds again. Put the radius to 20 and then keyframe it. Um, go forward in time to like six seconds and then keyframe, uh, put the keyframe to zero. <clears throat> now we just added some waves to it, which is kind of nice, I think. Now I'd like to do one more thing. Um, I like to go. Uh, I'd like to to uh, change the color of our background a little so it matches with the color of our logo. So I just take the color picker and pick the color of our logo and now just make it a little darker and go down here and double click and just copy our color code. Go to your background layer, uh, go to ramp and paste in your new color. All right. And now let's add a little glow to our logo. So for that, we go to the effects type in glow, uh, look for it uh, down in the list, there is this glow, and just drop it on our layer. Now let's go to glow and let's set the glow threshold to like 25%, the glow radius to around 175 or 77, the glow intensity to like 1.5, and let's change the original colors to A and B colors. And now let's color pick uh, color A from our logo. Just like that. Mm, yep. Now we have this glow with some kind of shadow around it. Um, let's go to like um, 5 seconds and 15 frames. Uh, let's keyframe our glow intensity and then go for to like seven seconds and put the glow intensity down to zero. Okay, let's add this to the render queue. Go to render settings. Uh, we can leave uh, everything as it is here. Go to lossless and, well, I like to use the H.264 video codec, um, hit OK. Um, now, 
give it a output name. So I want to call this rain dropping rain dropping animation. Um, of course, this was just a rough explanation on how to do uh, these things. Uh, you always have to play around with the effects until you like what you see and um, yep this is it I hope you liked it uh, feel free to leave a comment um, let me know what you think um, hit the subscribe button for more tutorials and yep see you next time thank you for watching bye bye